Hi everyone! As promised, here is a bit of a tutorial on how to put together an easy multimodal presentation that incorporates both video, um, visual images, and voiceover. Um, I've made this video that I'm showing you using all of the techniques that I employ in, or that I describe in this video. Uh, one caveat, of course, is that this is a bit of a rough draft, so the language is a bit more rough than I would want for a final product. Um, it's a teaching moment, right? Here we go. What you will need for this, you will need a Prezi account, which is free, um, a computer, which is not free, a QuickTime a copy of QuickTime Player, which you can find online also for free, um, either Mac or PC should work. I'm using the Mac version here from my own personal computer. And you will need a user account on YouTube, which is also free. Now, the reason I've used these particular resources is obviously because um, they're inexpensive and they're easy for everyone to get. Um, you might object that you don't want to use Prezi for your thing, that you're much more comfortable with something like PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how to simply upload a PowerPoint presentation into Prezi. The reason Prezi is really useful for this particular task is that um, it can have with, embedded within it YouTube clips, um, images, and um, documents like PowerPoint presentation. So everything can be laid out for you and a path can be predetermined, which makes your job when making a video very, very easy. So, the first step to making your video is starting your Prezi. Um, very simple process here, um, once you've got your Prezi account, which um, you simply get by going to Prezi.com and registering as a student, it's free for you. Um, clicking to start a new Prezi, you'll immediately be offered either um, a template or to go to with a blank version. Totally depends on what you're into. Um, I s many of my presentations I've started with templates. They've got a number of really good ones. Some of them include 3D effects. Totally up to you. Um, if you're planning on going from a PowerPoint presentation, something that you've made already, I suggest just going with blank. Um, very easy to work with. I won't walk you through that part particularly, but that's how you get started. Um, if you are going with a PowerPoint presentation, I'll show you how to do that right now. So, I'm going to exit out of my presentation mode. Um, up here there is simply a link called PowerPoint. Click on it. I've got a PowerPoint presentation back from when I used to use these for lesson plans instead of the wiki, which I'm going to open up. What it does is it converts the PowerPoint presentation into a series of frames within the Prezi format. Um, I'm going to select that I want to insert all of them. And as with creating anything, it will give you some options for how you'd want them laid out. Makes absolutely no difference um, in terms of the functionality of it. Um, what I suggest is you add a path between your slides. And if you want to go with the most basic, you don't want to do anything beautiful, you want no frills at all, you just want it to look like a slideshow, just click, click Grid Layout, click Insert, and it will create an easy layout for you that you can then move around um, or place right here, let's say. And it automatically links them into the path. Um, it's put them at the end of my path, since I've already got a lot of things in this, but if that's all you've got in your document, you are ready to present that moment, which is really nice. You would just simply click present, and it would take you to the first slide and move you through the slides sequentially. Very useful. Um, that's quite straightforward. I'm going to delete these now so that they don't upset my path later. All right, back to the presentation. That happens when you leave the presentation. Sometimes it resets the path. As I was saying, the first step is simply lay out your basics. You can add it whatever kind of visuals you want. Adding images is very easy. All of these images I added um, to the thing simply by clicking images in the um, editing window um, and uploading them from file. These all happen to be screenshots I took. You can also add YouTube videos, and here's how. I will tell you with this YouTube video that I made. All 
right, here I am. I've got, I've chosen this video which I made earlier. I'm going to click share to embed. I'm going to simply click the link. And I'm going to open up my Prezi window. And I'm going to paste it in. So click media from YouTube. Click the link I just put and insert it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy indeed. So, as you see, that is a YouTube video that I myself put in there. It also happens to be one that I myself recorded through this process. Very meta, I know, but that is to say, one of the advantages of Prezi, you can put YouTube videos in there. So, if in the course of your explanation, you want to zoom to some other clip, this will allow you to do that and to talk about it in here as well. Next step, once you've got all of your visuals laid out, once you've got the basics of all the ground you're going to cover, essentially all the slides you're going to show, um, you've got to set your path among the various items. As you've seen already, sometimes I zoom in on the full frame so that you can see the text, the title, and whatever commentary there is. Um, and sometimes I want to zoom in on the image itself, as I'm doing now. Good thing about this is you can zoom in on detail. I can actually, using the trackpad, bring you in even further if I want to, simply by zooming, um, as you would on any web page, for instance. Um, very straightforward there. Um, you can edit the path through this window on the left. You simply click the Edit Path button, and it will show up in a grid here. You can click and drag items around so that um, their order in the uh, presentation changes. Again, quite straightforward. All, that is all you need to do in order to get the visuals for your presentation together. Um, you can record video, you can put movies within it, you can put images within it, you can move around the slides so that it's moving from one to another and you don't have to fiddle with it at all. Next step is going to be, once you've got the path and the images all laid out, to um, write and revise your voiceover. So this, what I'm recording for you right now, is very loose and poorly rehearsed. Um, if I had um, the time, I suppose, I would be writing it out and rehearsing it for you so that I could get the whole thing under 10 minutes. 10 minutes is really the goal, and I'm going to try and push for that, though we've only got two minutes left. Probably won't make it. Anyway, um, standard rule of academic writing is about a page of double space text is about a page and a half um, read slowly. For these purposes, um, you can use that as a way to tell how much you should write for these projects, knowing that the limit for purely written text is 1,200 to 1,800 words. Um, you'll want to go a little less than that because you're incorporating so many other things, but um, that's just a rule so you know how to time yourself a little bit. Write it, revise it, get used, rehearse it a couple of times, get used to doing the voiceover with the images. Now for the next part of how to actually record the thing once you've got all of this preliminary work done. Now recording's not so hard, um, especially using QuickTime Player. Um, QuickTime Player, as I said, free and available to all um, in Mac or PC formats. Easy way to do it is simply to open your QuickTime Player, um, click on, uh, within the window you will see um, File and then New Screen Recording. That's what I'm doing now is a screen recording. You will click on the little triangle there. This is the Mac format. I think the PC format is very similar, though someone can tell me if it's not, and we'll work through it. Um, click on the quality that you want. I'm recording this in high quality right now. Good thing about Prezi is there's not actually that much motion, so high is fine. Um, it won't um, make it too big of a file. And um, set it so that it's the automatic uh, built-in internal microphone, and set it to uh, save to your desktop. Then you simply click the record button. I have done it so that it's recording the entire screen, though if you want to record only a smaller portion of the screen, um, you can do that as well. It's pretty straightforward when you get to that portion. It will record the video. When you've reached the end of your Prezi, you simply click stop, 
and it will uh, render the video for you and save it wherever you've told it to as a dot um, mov file. These are files that are very easy to upload to YouTube. So, um, get yourself a YouTube account. They're, they are linked through Facebook like everything else is now, so you don't have to go through any hoops really to get one. Um, but sign up for a YouTube account and simply click the upload button up here. When you do that, it will bring you to this screen to select a file from your computer. Select the file that you just made in the video. Um, and it will bring you to this screen. Um, this is another video that I made before. Uh, it will start uploading it automatically and ask you for some details about the video, which you should fill in um, as it's uploading. Once it's done, it will um, you can click on the link and it will take you to your finished video. Now, what if your video is imperfect? What if, for instance, at the beginning you had a rough stumble, there's a few spots where you got lost, and you'd really like the opportunity to edit it? Well, lucky for you, um, there is, oops, let me go back. For example, this I would edit out if I were, if I were going for it. Um, if you go to this link here and know that this whole Prezi will be available to you, um, you will see the YouTube video editor software that's actually created by YouTube and integrated within. It is free. It's quite easy to use. I used it in editing the beginning of this video, though not that little slip. Um, and it's it'll help you um, make the videos much smoother if there are parts that you want to um, cut out later on or piece together. You can piece together it in smaller chunks if that's necessary. So, by this point, you've got your video done, you've laid out the path, you've written your voiceover, you've recorded a, a take that's more or less fine, you've edited it, it's on your YouTube page. What do you do then? You take the embed code from your YouTube page, um, which you get by clicking share and doing that. I showed you how to do that earlier. And you take it to your wiki page. Now you know that for everyone, regardless of what kind of project you're doing, you're creating a page within your writer by writer archive on the wiki that will have your unit 3 project in it. If you're creating a video, same deal. You will make a new page within your writer by writer archive. It will have a title just like your midterm piece did and you, the project itself will be in there. You'll have some text perhaps to start off, some kind of introduction or a bit of a letter to the audience talking about your video if you want. Um, we can talk about parameters of that particularly in class. Um, you'll have your work cited, but when you're ready to put your video in, it's a very simple process. So all you have to do is take that embed code, click this link up here, which, is, uh, which indicates that you're going to put some HTML into your um, edit window it will automatically put in these two things, the HTML in two brackets and the slash HTML in two brackets. And then just copy your, your video right here, plain and simple, um, and click the um, Save button, and you will see your video embedded within, um, as you did, or rather, as you do right now, looking at the page. So, that is it. That is the whole process of creating a quick and easy video uh, presentation using images, slideshow, video, whatever you want, um, using these free tools available to you. Um, if you have any questions, please do let me know. Uh, this video is meant as a tool for you to figure it out, but it's, as I said, a rough draft, so there may be things that have been left out or things that I've glossed over feel free to let me know. Thanks very much for listening, and good luck.